Hey everyone, my name is Stephanie and welcome to Let's Be Honest Now once again. I'm here today with the founder of Got It QK, Honest. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm bad, thanks. Good. How are you? I'm okay. <laughs> thanks for asking. You're welcome. So our first question for today is what inspired the idea of Got It QK and why now? Why has the idea come up at this time? Um, well, Got It UK started in 2011. Um, it really just birthed through prayer. Um, I had no particular passion for fashion um, at the time, but when I did, you know, come out of that moment of prayer, um, just a lot of creative ideas started coming to me, and I've always had a um, passion for men. Um, I've always had a passion to change and the way men are perceived um, today. And the two just fit together and complemented each other well. Um, so from 2011, I've just been trying to build um, the brand. And it kind of dissolved a bit um, in 2013, or 2012, should I say. Um, but then I branched out again, um, revamped the brand, uh, changed the logo, changed the name a little slightly. It was Got It Cloven before, but now it's Got It UK. Um, and so now we're looking to really um, hit things, um, or get the, get the game running, really, um, in full effect. Um, so I wouldn't really say that we started now, um, but as it is, um, now is a good time to start, mm -hmm. um, especially with what's, what's going on with men these days, especially yeah. with a lot of uh, um, you know, violence and everything that's happening, especially with this generation. Um, it's a good time to start change, it's a good time to try and make a change, uh, and hopefully everybody will, will see and support as, as we begin to progress. Okay, good. Our second question is for, let's be honest now, the topic of the month is addiction. Um, do you think there's an addictive stigma attached to men's clothing by society? And if so, how can Godic UK overcome or deal with this um, stigma that's attached to it? Um, I do. I do think that there's an addictive stigma um, on men's fashion today. Um, I think that men are... It's, it's, a, it's an addiction for men to... Um, wear particular types of clothing that show their physique yeah um but that's not necessarily it doesn't have to necessarily be the case but but it is but it is quite an, an addiction to um follow other other trends um so i do think there's an addictive stigma there um how we try or how we aim to change that um is simply by not not allowing people to um as 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 um, ironic as this may sound, being a clothing label, we don't want to we don't want to cause people to um, see somebody by the exterior. Okay. We want to allow people to um, express themselves, um, and as a symbol of expressing themselves, they'll wear the clothes. If that makes sense, yeah. as a symbol of expressing their individuality, they will wear gothic um, and not necessarily go by the the addictions of society wearing uh you know particular sizes just to show um you know how masculine you are so yeah. to speak um also there's 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 this move um of of fashion that is geared towards there are say femininity um that men are adopting and it's not to say that the fashion trends are are wrong but it is becoming an addiction to to deem it as right yeah. um but personally, myself and we at the team at Got It UK, we just believe that the right thing is individuality. Okay, cool. Um, our last question is, Christ and clothing are things that we deal with daily. Um, there's such a powerful ideology in terms of Christians not meant to follow fashion or be fashionable or have the latest clothing or basically have no taste in fashion. Um, why do you think this is something that has arisen in our society and how do you think the church can tackle this i would say religious idea um yes we can tackle the issue uh, we can tackle the issue by teaching as we're wearing okay. um a, lo a lot of times we can just um, a lot of times i think the church can um, point fingers um but we don't teach on why um certain things may necessarily be wrong or right um in, in regards to uh, the way people dress, um, if I can kind of go at that angle, mm. um, I mean, for example, you can have you can have somebody wearing something that is seems that is fashionable or something that is classy, um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they are 
um, of a certain way. But it doesn't necessarily mean that they're that they're a certain person. True. Um, so we can always show ourselves. We can always show ourselves through um, what we wear. But what's more going to show who we are is what we say, what we think, what we understand. Uh, the scripture in the in the word that says, um, "When I was a child, I thought as a child, understood as a child, spoke yeah. as a child. When I became a man, I put away childish things." Meaning that my 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 way of being a man is by my understanding, by my speaking. Mm. Um, and I just forgot what I just said now. <laughs> my understanding, my speaking, and the way I think, I believe. So that that's what's going to be more the um, distinctive factor for, for who you are. Um, that's not to say that it shouldn't show in your clothes. Mm. Um, and, and I do think that there is just some modesty that we should have um, both men and women, there's, yeah. there's a modesty that we should have when when we're when we're actually you know wearing things out. Um, but nonetheless, um, we we shouldn't we shouldn't be we shouldn't be religious to say if you dress a certain way, you we shouldn't be religious to go from the ex from the outside in, in if that yes. makes sense. Um, but we should um, know of who we are, and then from that place we should dress a certain way. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I was once taught that the queen, you don't see the queen in a tracksuit. I'm not to say that tracksuits are bad, yeah. but because of who she is, she she has to walk a certain way or she has to wear certain things a certain yes. way. And and I'm sure we can we can agree that the reason why a lot of people today wear certain things is simply because of the way they see themselves. Definitely. So we, we, can, we can tackle that. The church can tackle that by teaching people about, number one, the identity primarily, but moreover, just teaching people what it means to to dress to dress nice i mean it's nice to, it's nice to look nice at yeah. the same time it's nice to dress nice um but it has to have a good inspiration everything has an inspiration yeah. everybody has a muse um just people people that don't understand that there is a muse um i just ignore the fact that they are being controlled by something yeah they are being governed by something and so we have to make sure that we understand what we're governed by and from that um you know take the necessary actions to portray our our, I don't want to use a massive word, but our ambassadorship, so to speak, we want to, we want to yeah. address a certain way to show who we actually, where we're actually from, if that makes sense. Yeah, so we, we can change that by teaching. I think the church can change that aspect of, you know, the, the Christian dresses like just plain and just all black. Yeah. You can change that by just teaching where your clothes come from or where your dress sense comes from. Okay, well, thank you, Honest, for joining us today on Let's Be Honest Now. And for everyone watching, I hope you've enjoyed the interview. And please do make sure you check out all the other videos on the website, all the blogs, all the testimonies, all the bloopers, things to make you laugh. Just make sure you enjoy and share with others. Bye.